So I don't know now if they find me or for the ones who have, I love you guys because I know that you love me like for real, for real. And not for, you know, for surf and not based on surface reasons. Um, but I don't think I'll just flat out, you know, share the information voluntarily. If they find me though, that's cool. YouTube people, I can't really restrict myself. That's, that's like the primary thing I hate about YouTube. Aside from not being able to send videos out just to subscribers only. Um, um, I'm not comfortable with... It's like a imbalance. It's like I'm comfortable that people I don't know will get to hear me just vent and rant and express and share expression. But at the same yeah. time, I dig my space. Because it really is my space. And when, you, and when you reply to comments, you can reply to a certain comment. Like, if you have like 90 comments on something, whether it be a photo or a blog, you can reply to the one that you want to reply to. On Facebook, if you even comment on somebody something, you get a notification for everybody that comments after you. They, comments didn't have nothing to do with you. I hate that. That ain't that ain't groovy. I want to see the order. I want to see the chronological thought process. You know, say you have Cat, Rihanna, and Fugalicious coming in to talk to Tab, coming in to talk to Honey. Well, Honey comes in and she sees Boo Boo the Fool. Rihanna and Fugalicious and Boo Boo the Fool was the first comment and she got something to say to Boo Boo the Fool but Rihanna and uh, Fugalicious' comments are there. So when she go to respond, if she don't actually say Boo Boo the Fool, this is to you, then it'll look like it's just something you, she just came up and said. I don't like that. I don't like how the comments don't fall in order of response to the person who is responding to their comments. I don't appreciate it. And I don't appreciate getting a notification for every little thing that everybody say. Because all I'm going to go do is go back and look at those comments and see which ones are ridiculous and block all those people. And it's wrong. <laughs> I told y'all I have a problem with giving the benefit of the doubt. But I do give the benefit of the doubt. They just fail. They fail so quickly. So, I dig my space. I dig it. I even like the music that plays when you go to the page. The music that you choose. And even when surfing, that tells a lot about people. If somebody has a page and you go to their page and... The first thing they got playing is ass and titties. Well, then you don't even have to take the time to look through their page and see if they might be an interesting person. I could just move on instantly without even being curious. And when I first heard of Facebook, I heard of Facebook. Oh, all your stuff is out in the, in, in the air and everybody can see everything and blah, blah, blah. But the reality is when I first got to Facebook, you would click on people and you can't see anything unless you send them a friend request. Well, what if you don't want, what if you, you don't realize you don't want to, what if you don't yet realize that you don't really want to send them a request? What if they said something all interesting at some point and you thought, oh, that sounds like an interesting person. You can't go and check their page like you can in MySpace, see what kind of music they got playing. You can't go and look and see who their top friends are. Well, sometimes there are a few friends up there, but they're just a few friends. They're not their top friends, so they're just a few friends. It could be a whole gamut of folks. I was interested in who, I, it was interesting to me to see who people's top friends were. Because if you're a dude and all your top friends are Let's go again with ass and titties. You ain't, <laughs> you are booty collector, and I'm not going to be added to your collection. If I go to your 
if I go to a dude's page and the first thing he got plastered across his page is bling and and dollar bills, <laughs> the bitch is not for me. This bitch who thinks he's a man is not for me. He's not. If I go to this dude's page and he's shirtless, come on. You have shirtless pictures. How old are you even? And if you are 16, 17, what you sending me a friend request for? You can't do nothing for me. You can't even have a conversation with me. And if your pants are sagging to the ground, what you gonna do with me? You don't even know what size pants you wear. You don't even know your inseam length. Your waist size. Dude. I dig you too. It sucks that sometimes people end up airing their dirty laundry. But on the other hand, it helps to vent. And I'm sure, just like it's probably uh, destroyed a couple of lives, I bet you it has also saved a few lives. Just get it off your chest. Just get it off your chest. So I appreciate YouTube. I love MySpace. And Facebook, I'm still getting used to. But I will get used to it. And I am. I'm still going to commit to attempting to let almost everybody and their mama in. It just might have to be everybody I haven't blocked yet. Which is a lot of people. <laughs>